Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. So in this video guys, we are going to discuss about an application of algebra which is the age problem. So it's really important guys to know the concepts of this problem kasi madalas din siyang lumabas sa engineering board examination. The first step in solving an age problem guys is to represent the present ages of those people in the problem as a variable. So it's either x, y, or z, or any other letter to represent the present ages. Now the second step is to make a table representing the present, the past, and the future ages of the people in the problem. And the third step is to construct an equation based on the conditions in the problem. Okay, let's start solving a sample problem guys para mas magets or maintindihan natin siya. Okay, this is a past board exam problem. Okay, in this first problem, the sum of Devin's and James' ages is 18. In 3 years, Devin will be twice as old as James. What are their ages now? Okay, first step tayo guys. Represent the present ages of the people in the problem as a variable. Okay, so let, let's say let x, say that let x be Devin's, okay, Devin's present age. Then let's say let y be James, okay, James present age. Okay, so second step na tayo guys, construct a table representing the past, the present, and the future ages of the people in the problem. Okay, keyword natin dito is represents present. Of course, mayroong present dapat. Okay, ito guys, in 3 years, ibig sabihin niyan, that is a future. So, yung table natin will uh, involve the present and the future ages of these people. Okay, so, construct natin yung table. So, we have the present and we have the future. So, huwag muna natin guys intindihin yung uh, statement sa problem. Ang importante dito is makonstruct natin muna yung table. Okay, so dito, si Devin's present age. Okay, so ito si Devin and this is James. Yung present age ni Devin is X. Then, yung present age ni James is Y. So, sabi dito, in 3 years. So, of course, in 3 years, the present age of Devin will be X plus 3. So, magdadagdag siya ng 3 years. Then, of course, the future age of James in 3 years, so that is Y plus 3. Okay, third step na tayo, guys. Make an equation out of these conditions. Okay, the sum of Devin's and James' ages is, okay, so ibig sabihin nito, present tayo, just focus on the present. Yung sum daw ng present ages ni Devin at ni James is 18. So, therefore, present lang muna tayo, X plus Y equals 18. Ayan. So, this is the first equation. So, dalawa yung unknown natin, guys. So, we have two unknowns here. Therefore, we need another equation to solve x and y. So, kuhin natin siya, guys, sa second statement. So, in three years, Devin will be twice as old as James. So, focus muna tayo sa future kasi sabi dito, in three years. So, wala muna tayong pakialam dito sa present. Okay, sabi dito, in 3 years, Devin, okay, Devin is x plus 3 in 3 years. Devin will be, okay, that is equal, twice, okay, twice to as old as James. So, this is in 3 years, dito tayo sa y plus 3. Okay, in 3 years, Devin will be twice as old as James. So, we have our second equation. Okay, we have formed the equation. I-solve natin siya, guys, simultaneously. So, yung required natin dito, what are their ages now? Okay, so, x and y yung hinahanap. So, take note of that. Take note of the required. Okay, from the first equation, x plus y equals 18. Then, you have here from the second equation, i-simplify muna natin siya, guys. x plus 3 equals 2y. Okay, 2 times y is 2y. Then, 2 times positive 3 is positive 6. Therefore, we have x. Okay, si 2y, subtract natin both sides para matranspose natin. So, x minus 2y equals, so ito, 6 minus 3. Subtract tayo 3 both sides. This becomes 6 minus 3. So, this becomes 3. So, this is the second equation simplified. Then, we have here 
x minus 2y equals 3. So, solve natin si x and y simultaneously by using the elimination method. So, mas madali mag-eliminate, guys. So, eliminate natin si x kasi common naman siya to both equation as x. So, okay, minus natin. So, x minus x, 0. So, y minus negative 2y, this is positive 3y. Then, we have here 18 minus 3. So, that is 15. So, divide natin 3 to both sides. So, this becomes 3y over 3 equals 15 over 3. Therefore, we have y as, okay, yung y natin is 5 years old. Okay, so we have here our uh, answer. So, isa pa, kuhin natin yung x. So, yung y natin, that is James present age. Okay, si James ay 5 years old in the present. Now, sabi dito, kahit hindi na natin isolve, sabi dito is that the sum of their present ages is 18. Therefore, if James is 5, therefore, Devin is 13. So, to complete that 18. Pero, solve pa rin natin siya, guys. Okay, from the first equation, that is x plus y equals 18. So, therefore, we have x as... 18 minus y. So, transpose natin cy. Okay. So, x equals 18 minus cy is 5. So, x is equal to, so you have here 13. Therefore, Devin's present age is 13 years old. Okay. So, that's how you solve, guys, an age problem. Okay. Proceed tayo, guys, sa next sample problem. Okay, so here we go sa second problem natin. Six years ago, so take note guys, this is a past board exam problem. Six years ago, Nilda was five times as old as Risa. In five years, Nilda will be three times as old as Risa. What is the present age of Risa? Okay, so ito yung mga conditions natin sa problem. I-represent natin guys as a variable yung mga present ages ng mga tao dun sa problem. Okay, so let x be nildas, okay, nildas, present, age, then let y be risas, present, age. Okay, so first step, second step na tayo guys, construct natin yung table. But first, uh, we need to identify ano ba yung elements ng table natin. Okay, ito, 6 years ago, okay, 6 years ago corresponds to the past. Okay, then we have here in 5 years corresponds to the future. Okay, therefore, nandun yung tatlong element natin, past, present, and future. Okay, construct natin guys yung table. Okay, so this is Nilda's age and this is Risa's age. Okay, tatlong column corresponding to the past, present, and future. Okay, we have here the past, we have the present, and we have here the future. Okay, yung present age ni Nilda is X. Okay, yung kay Risa is Y. Then, sabi dito 6 years ago. Okay, 6 years ago, of course, yung edad ni Nilda is X minus 6. So, babawas tayo ng 6 sa present age niya because that was from the past. Okay, dito naman kay Risa, of course, that is Y minus 6. 6 years ago, that was from the past. Then, eto, in 5 years, okay, present tayo guys, in 5 years, so mag-add tayo ng uh, 5 because sabi dito in 5 years. Okay, so this is x plus 5, then y plus 5. Okay, second step is done. Let's go to the third step which is the interpretation of the wordings into a mathematical equation. Okay, sabi sa first statement, okay, 6 years ago, so focus tayo sa past because this is... 6 years ago. So, Nilda, okay, Nilda, x minus 6, was, okay, equals 5 times, okay, 5 times as old as Risa. So, si Risa, 6 years ago, is y minus 6. So, we have this first equation, okay? Then, we have our second equation from the second statement. In 5 years, okay, so let's focus here on the future. In 5 years, Nilda, okay, Nilda, x plus 5, will be, okay, equals 3 times as old as Risa. Okay, si Risa, in 5 years, is y plus 5. 
Okay, so we have two equations now. Pwede na natin siyang ma-solve. Okay, guys? Ayan. So, that's the step. Okay, so solving na tayo. Algebra yung foundations natin dito. Okay, so from the first equation, we have uh, x minus 6. Okay, x minus 6 equals, so 5 times y, 5y. 5 times negative 6, negative 30. Then we have here x plus 5. From the second equation, that is 3 times y, 3y. Then 3 times 5, that is positive 15. Now take note, ang inahanap natin dito guys is the present age of Risa. Okay, not Nilda, but Risa. So that is y. So y yung hinahanap natin dito. Okay, compute natin si y. So dito from the first equation, x minus 6 is equal to, okay, uh, isimplify natin siya guys. Okay, so this becomes x minus 5y. So subtract tayo 5y both sides. So minus 5y equals, so negative 30. So add tayo ng 6 both sides para matanggal natin sa left side si negative 6. So add tayo ng 6 both sides. Transpose natin siya dito sa, sa right side. So, this becomes negative 30 plus 6. So, that is negative 24. Okay? We have here from the second equation, that is x. Okay, x minus 3y. Transpose natin si 3y. So, equals. So, 15 minus 5. So, that is 10. Okay? Transpose natin si 5 sa right side. Now, eto. Uh, pwede natin siyang i-eliminate. Okay, eliminate natin si x para mahanap natin si y. Okay, so this becomes from the first equation. This is x minus 5y equals negative 24. Then from the second equation, that is x minus 3y equals 10. Okay, para ma-eliminate natin si x, isa-subtract natin siya. So x minus x, that is, okay, that is 0. So negative 5 minus negative 3y. Okay, so that is negative 2y. So, equals. Ito, negative 24 minus 10. Okay, so this is uh, negative 34. Okay, divide natin guys to negative 2 both sides. Okay, negative 2y divided by negative 2 equals negative 34 divided by negative 2. So, therefore, the age of Risa in the present is Okay, 34 divided by 2. So, this is positive 17. Okay, so the present age of Lisa is 17 years old. Okay, so that's how, guys, that's how you solve an age problem. Okay, so I hope that you have learned from this video, guys. I think that's it for today. So, iisa-isay natin, guys, yung application of algebra. So, if you are new to this channel, of course, feel free to subscribe on this channel, guys. Para ma-update kayo sa mga future uploads ko. And you can also follow me guys on Facebook. That is facebook.com slash engineerprofph. See you guys. Stay safe. God bless you all. And thank you for watching this video.